All right, y'all, we are back with another video. This is another uh, video that I got for y'all today. It's called The Terrifying Truth Behind Obama's Chef Disappearance. Wow. I am eager to uh, see this one right here. This is another uh, video y'all recommended uh, that I should check out. And man, just by this title alone, man, I'm like, wow. The Terrifying Truth Behind Obama's Chef Disappearance? Wow. Wow. Like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody that's been showing so much love. Everybody that's been showing uh, a lot of support and leaving positive comments in the comment section. I also want to thank everybody that just clicked on this video for the very first time. Without further ado, let's dive straight into this. Other news today, more details about the drowning death of the Obama's personal chef while paddle boarding in Martha's Vineyard. A lot of different media outlets said the fact that he didn't know how to swim. Matter of fact, there was a post of Instagram of him, hashtag, still don't know how to swim or something like that. I don't yeah. know if you saw that yeah. or not, where he didn't know how to swim. And then a video appeared with him on Twitter. He knows how to uh, swim, uh, Pat. He's So this is him swimming. That's pretty solid to swim like that. That's backstroke that he's doing Looks there. Like he yeah. has flippers on. In the bustling world of politics, where secrets are as abundant as intrigue, a captivating mystery has left the nation bewildered and hungry for answers. Amidst the hallowed halls of power where pivotal decisions shape history, an enigma unfolds. The truth behind White House chef's disappearance. For years, the White House kitchen has been the epicenter of culinary excellence, serving as a melting pot of flavors from around the globe. Wow. The talented chefs, often shrouded in anonymity, have satisfied the palates of presidents and dignitaries alike, their culinary artistry a closely guarded secret. But one fateful night, everything changed. As the nation slept, the White House kitchen underwent an inexplicable upheaval. The head chef, a culinary virtuoso renowned mm -hmm. for their gastronomic delights, vanished without a trace. Whispers of conspiracy and foul play spread like wildfire through the political grapevine, which puzzled the nation's elite and curious citizens. Was it a sinister plot to sabotage the heart of the White House? Or did the chef mm -hmm. vanish willingly, seeking refuge from the relentless pressure of cooking for the most influential individuals in the world? As speculation ran rampant, no official statement emerged, deepening the mystery and fueling countless rumors. In this riveting tale of culinary prowess and clandestine affairs, we delve into the labyrinth of secrets hidden behind the grand facade of the White House. From covert culinary experiments to hidden passageways that may lead to the truth, every morsel of information is a tantalizing clue waiting to be discovered. Prepare to be captivated by a story that intertwines the world of haute cuisine with the intricacies of politics, where the search for answers will take us Aye. on a roller coaster ride of suspense and revelation. Buckle up your seatbelts and sharpen your appetite for the truth as we embark on a quest to uncover the secrets hidden behind the scenes of America's most powerful kitchen. In this gripping tale of mystery and culinary artistry, one thing is sure. The truth is indeed the most delectable dish of all. Barack Obama's chef, Tafari Campbell, who served in the White House during his presidency, mysteriously disappeared from the house. Wow. Upon speculation, it was discovered that Tafari Campbell tragically passed away over the weekend near the former president's Martha's Vineyard residence. On Sunday, he went missing while paddleboarding, and the following day, his lifeless body was found at the nearby Edgartown Great Pond. Former President Obama and his wife, Michelle Obama, were not home when the incident occurred. Notably, when Campbell's body was found, he was not wearing a life jacket. Presently, the Massachusetts State Police Department is investigating his death. However, it is believed to be an unfortunate accident at this stage, and nothing Aye. beyond that is suspected. Nonetheless, the couple expressed their heartfelt sentiments through a statement from The Guardian, emphasizing that Campbell held a special place in their hearts as a beloved part of our family. They fondly recalled their first encounter wow. with him at the White House and highlighted how their close bond endured well beyond Obama's office tenure. The couple said, that's why when we were getting ready to leave the White House, we asked Tafari to stay with us and he generously agreed. He's been part of our lives ever since and our hearts are broken 
that he's gone. Following the tragic passing of Tafari Campbell, the former personal chef to Barack and Michelle Obama and a former White House staff member, online platforms witnessed a surge in the dissemination of various right-wing conspiracy theories. These speculations rapidly proliferated in the aftermath of news about his drowning. Amidst the profound grief felt by the Obamas over the loss of their chef, Tafari Campbell, the Man. online reaction to his death took a peculiar turn. Almost immediately after the news broke on social media, netizens began to draw strange connections, pointing out that this was not the first instance of a White House chef passing away by drowning. The death of the chef uh. has taken the internet by storm. A user named Ian Miles Cheong, known best for his commentary on Twitter, tweeted a video of Tafari Campbell swimming perfectly, and he called him out as a trained swimmer, which has raised eyebrows of speculation that the death of the beloved chef was not an accident. Adding to the intrigue, internet users have uncovered video wow. footage of Campbell displaying exceptional swimming skills on Instagram. His fitness highlights showcase him proficiently executing backstroke, freestyle, and various swimming strokes during an extensive 40-minute swim workout. These discoveries have led some netizens to consider the possibility of a conspiracy surrounding Campbell's demise, as his drowning appears wow. implausible given his swimming abilities. A user shared, Why are the Obamas putting out the narrative that Tafari Campbell didn't know how to swim when I just saw a video of him swimming like a fish? This wow, so Obama was saying that he didn't know how to swim, but yet they showing a video that he do know how to swim now don't get it wrong now a lot of times you can get in like the beach and some if you get too far out sometimes regardless if you can swim sometimes the way that water be moving you'll probably have a hard time but this is weird that they said that he couldn't swim but yet they got a video with him swimming now uh i remember this but like i said i never kind of got like all the way into it when that when the news broke on that so that's why I'm kind of going in this kind of new a little bit. But like I said, I knew a little bit about it, but I didn't like dive straight into it. But that is weird that so now they're trying to say that he knew how to swim. So they're thinking that it's something else that happened. So this right here is like where I'd be like, oh, my God, bro. So he just automatically just disappeared from the White House. Like that, that is kind of strange because I'm pretty sure Obama was paying him pretty good. So how come they find him and they say he drowned? And then Obama come back to Barack Obama and they saying that he didn't know how to swim? But yet they got a video of him swimming? Boy, boy, boy. This is, this is crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it so far. This is wild. This smells. The Twitter community finds striking similarities between the death of Tafari Campbell and White House chef Walter Scheib, who served President Clinton and passed away from drowning in New Mexico. Since then, conspiracy theories have surfaced, with internet users drawing comparisons between the two White House chefs' deaths. In 2015, chef Walter Scheib also tragically drowned in New Mexico as the head chef having been hired by first what's up with all like everybody that's a chef all of a sudden they just drunk they, they they drown like this is crazy yo like it's kind of scary it's like everybody that's that becomes a chef at the white house this happened to them the same incident man Lady Hillary Clinton, the spouse of President Bill Clinton. Coincidences fuel conspiracy theories, and in the case of Campbell's untimely passing, a particularly unsettling one emerged. He is not the first White House chef to have tragically drowned. That one, that's in 2015, crazy. Walter Scheib, a former White House chef hired by then First Lady Hillary Clinton, vanished while hiking near Taos, New Mexico. Scheib served at the White House from 1994 to 2005 until President George W. Bush dismissed him. Several days wow. after his hike, Scheib's lifeless body was discovered in a mountain drainage carrying surface runoff. The cause of his death was determined to be drowning, though the circumstances remained unclear due to him hiking alone. While there are no direct connections between the separate tragedies that befell Scheib and, years later, Campbell, some influential figures have been speculating about a connection. They suggest that the deaths might be somehow linked to what the chefs had witnessed during their time at the White House. In light of these revelations, Comparisons between the deaths of the two White House chefs have emerged, with some suggesting a potential Man. pattern. Specific individuals even speculate about conceivable connections between the chef's death and the former president. Here are some of the unconventional comments circulating online. One user tweeted, Barack Obama's White House chef, Tafari Campbell, 
wasn't the first White House chef to die by drowning. In 2015, mm. it was determined that a White House chef who was hired by then First Lady Hillary Clinton, Walter Scheib, also died by drowning. Nothing to see here. In response to this tweet or X post, one user wrote, isn't the first time sous chef Tafari Campbell had an impressive tenure of nearly a decade at the White House, serving first during George W. Uh, Bush's administration and later throughout Barack Obama's two-term presidency in Washington, D.C. During his distinguished service... It get to the point, bro. You don't be knowing like what to believe because you be like, this happened to a chef in 2015, and then this turned around and happened. You know, like this right here is crazy. This is crazy, y'all. I'm telling you. Because it's it just like this man knew how to swim, and then all of a sudden he just drowned. And a lot of people trying to say, well, a lot of people trying to basically put it like they don't think that he drowned. They think something else happened. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Yo. Campbell contributed to creating some of the most renowned presidential recipes, among which was Barack's cherished honey ale beer, crafted from ingredients meticulously cultivated at the White House. Following Barack Obama's time in office, he invited Campbell to become his chef, which Campbell willingly embraced. Since then, he has remained a steadfast presence in their lives, frequently traveling from his residence in Virginia to accompany the Obamas wherever they were staying. In her statement to the BBC, Michelle Obama conveyed that Tafari Campbell leaves behind his wife, Sharice, and their twin sons, Xavier and Savin, as part of his cherished legacy. Wow. So what do you think about the disappearance and the tragic demise of Tafari Campbell? Was it an accident or just another conspiracy? That's it for today's videos, guys. Hit the subscribe button and like the- Like is that another incident or a conspiracy? But that, that right there is something else, y'all. That he just all of a sudden just leave the White House. Like he just left. Like it just don't seem realistic. You know, so that right there is what really got me. You know, like I said, I had heard about it before. I didn't never like like I said, I didn't get a chance to really like dive into it to see what was really going on. So just listening to this video and kind of trying to get in like, you know, like the full conclusion of some of the stuff that happened, you like, wow, that I I'm still stuck on that statement about Obama topic that he didn't know how to swim i'm pretty sure like if he been been a chef that long that they i'm pretty sure they knew the man knew how to swim and obviously like they a person did they showed a video of this man backpedaling and backpedaling ain't easy i know i can't do it <laughs> so man that, that right there is crazy y'all let me know what y'all think about it make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll catch y'all in the next one